Hey guys, it's Fraser here, and in this video I will be showing you how you can overclock the i5-8600K to 5GHz as you can see here right now. Um, and this will be at the lowest possible uh, voltage and temperatures. Now if you can achieve 5GHz will depend on your individual CPU, so you may be able to push above or maybe not even hit 5GHz. Uh, however, most i5 8600K should be able to achieve 5 gigahertz at no problem. So this video can also be used as a reference to overclock other CPUs. Um, and I will be using the ASRock Z370 Extreme 4 motherboard to overclock. However, if you have another Z370, such as a Gigabyte or an Asus, etc. Then the only difference will be some of the names in the settings. Um, so if you leave a comment down below, I'll be able to help you with that. Finally, if you could leave a like on the video and subscribe, that would help a lot. So without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Okay, so first of all, you will want to restart your computer and boot into the BIOS. For me, on my ASRock Extreme 4 motherboard, pressing the delete key on boot takes me into the BIOS. However, this may be different for you if you are using another brand of motherboard. So if you do a simple Google search, you should be able to find uh, which button to press to open up the BIOS. And so I will just open up the BIOS and I'll see you there. Okay, so now that we're in the BIOS, you want to go to the OC Tweaker tab or whatever tab it is on your motherboard. And you want to click CPU configuration. Okay, and now you want to make sure that the CPU ratio is on all core and that the all core ratio is at 50 so that we can achieve the 5 megahertz or oh, 5000 megahertz or 5 gigahertz uh, speed and you also want to make sure that your cpu cache ratio is uh, somewhere around about 45 you could put it higher or lower but 45 seems a, a good uh, number to keep it at um, and then you just want to keep all your kind of settings at uh, stock so gonna keep that auto auto disabled and just leave these as they are okay and then now let's get go out of that folder and then we're going to change the voltage in the CPU so we're going to go to the voltage configuration tab and what you want to do is set the CPU core slash cache voltage make sure that's in fixed mode and then you want to type in the uh, fixed voltage uh, here. I suggest starting at around about 1.29 and then if the system is unstable increasing the voltage by about 0 0.01 and then just increasing it until it is stable and also make sure that your CPU load line calibration is at a level 1 or level 2. But I think level 2 is more uh, secure um, and you want to leave everything else the same okay so finally if we go to DRAM configuration you also want to make sure that you load the XMP settings so that your uh, RAM can run at the uh, desired speed of well for me it's uh, 3000 megahertz um, and so that is us done in the BIOS so what you want to do click exit and save the changes and exit and now the computer will reboot into windows okay so once the overclock has been applied you want to download these two programs which are core temp and ida64 so we're going to use core temp to measure the maximum temperatures of all of the cores in the cpu and to make sure that they don't get to a dangerous level of above 90 degrees and then we also want ida64 which we use to stress the cpu and make sure that the overclock is stable um, and so what you want to do is in ID64 we want to go to tools and then system stability test and then want, you, want to make, you want to make sure that the stress CPU and stress FPU is ticked and only those two and what you want to do is go down to start and click on start and as you can see the CPU usage is now at 100% and as you can see that the frequency is at 5 gigahertz and now if we uh, check the temperatures we want to make sure that these stay at a safe level of below 90 degrees and um, so we're just going to let this system stability test run 
for a while, what you want to do is make sure that it's run for uh, it runs for 30 minutes to an hour just to make sure that your system is completely stable and that the overclock is stable. Okay, so if the system crashes at all when IDA64 is running, what you want to do is go back into the BIOS and raise the core voltage by 0.01 volts. Um, however, if uh, you see your uh, max temperatures go, you know, over 95 degrees, then what you want to do is, in fact, uh, decrease the core voltage and also decrease the uh, core uh, clock ratio so that you you know you're not overclocking your uh, card by so much so it might be 4.8 gigahertz instead of 5 just to make sure that your system is stable okay so that is the end of the video hopefully your i5-8600k could reach a uh, 5 gigahertz overclock and um, if you could leave a like on the video that would help a lot as it would help out the channel thanks for watching and bye bye